Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. It's Thursday. I thought I would start the vlog. I'm going to do some planting. I went to Home Depot and I got some petunias. Thank you. I can't remember your name, but you told me what they were called. And you're right. Got my Boston fern behind me. I love Boston fern. And my front porch is nice and shady for that. And then the petunias, I get full sun. So I'm going to plant... I think two planters and one hanging basket with what I have, if I have enough. If I don't, then it's my wind sock. We'll make it work. But I thought you would enjoy seeing what I'm doing. Let's get it going. First off, I don't know if you're gonna see them, but there's Wellington and right behind, <laughs> right behind him is Alex. They're gonna stare at me while I'm out here. Oh, now they're gonna wrestle in the window. They're ridiculous. All right, here we go. Okay, so I have these two in this hanging basket. So first things first, we're gonna fill them up. I need to get some new clippers, but for now, these will do. I'm just trying to open up this bag here. There we go. So, I'll tell you some stories first. How about that? Some of you probably know I live in a condo. And so I don't do a lot of yard work around here. But I do want to get some stuff done before they come around and freshen up our mulch. They'll do that here soon, our yard landscaping crew. Um, but last night was our budget meeting, our annual meeting for the board. And I got elected to the board. So I will be on our condo associations board, which is exciting, right? I just feel like I should be a part of my community. And since COVID, you know, I've been home a lot, met a lot of my neighbors. So that'll be exciting this year. That meets just once a month on the third Wednesday of the month. And yeah, so we did that last night. Today, <laughs> they are wrestling in the window because they're ridiculous. Today I worked and then I ran and got some plants I may have waited a little too long to buy my plants, but that's okay. Um, it's not been warm yet, but it is after Mother's Day, which typically around here is when we do all of the, you know, purchasing. Or most people go out Mother's Day weekend and get their stuff. All right, I think I just need a couple more scoops. I should have just dumped this, but... I didn't want to make a big old mess, right? All right, this is my smoke bush. This thing grows like crazy. So I need to trim that back. And 
this is where this bush died, but it looks like it's coming back, but I think I'm gonna get a lilac to put there because I think it'll smell pretty. And we come up my walk and we see Alex in the window. I'm gonna figure out a, I want them to get full sun for a while, so I'll leave them there. And then you come up to my porch and there's my Boston fern. And there's the striped petunias, and I hope that takes off. I would love for that to vine this summer. So that's everything I got done tonight. Let's see what we get into next. Oh, I didn't show you. I don't know if you can see it from here. When it gets dark, I'll show you from the inside, but that's my stained glass of the boys. Good morning. Spiky hair today. It is Saturday morning. It's 8.26. I'm up, I'm getting ready to feed the cats. And guys, do we have errands to run today? I went to my cousin's graduation last night. So that was awesome. And we got to celebrate his accomplishments in life, which just makes me so happy. I love them to pieces. And Today is the family's um, little get together cookout celebration for him. And I've been asked to make cupcakes, so I will do that. I will bring you along during that. Where his school colors are um, brown and orange. So I went and got orange food dye. We're going to make chocolate cupcakes with just vanilla frosting with orange and then I think I'm gonna run into the Dollar Tree because I need to do that anyway see if they have any um molt balls not moth balls molt balls to put on top for the brown for chocolate so we'll see what I can find in that front but we've got to make a list so I should write that down whoppers that's what they're called we also need a tray. I'm gonna be making two dozen cupcakes. Um, that's about what one batch of, or one box. I just use a box mix, no big deal. Right now I'm stirring cat food, adding the water to the boys food. Um, we need to get cake mix, powdered sugar, and I think I need some cake liners, some cupcake liners, um, for sure. What else? Oh, I need to take my watch to the jeweler to have a link taken care of on that. So we're gonna do that today. And I need to get a card, a graduation card and some money out. Guys, we're gonna be running all day long. And then tomorrow, the same cousins, I believe, are coming over and we're taking out my furniture. All right, now we need to go this direction because we need coffee. You hungry, baby? You hungry? What? They're over here looking at me. Are you hungry, Alex? Oh, you are hungry, okay. And where's your brother? Are you hungry too, baby? There you go. Mm -hmm. All right, they've had breakfast, coffee, little cream. So we're gonna be running, running, running today. I need to be ready to leave my house at like four o'clock in order to um, pick up my brother because he would like to go to the party. And it's a family affair, so that's good. Yeah, do I have coffee ready? Oh, and whoever left me the comment for, to put the tahine on cucumbers, genius. So, oh, and my farm stand is back, guys. So good, so good. That's breakfast today and coffee, of course. My farm stand is back for the summer. That makes me so happy. I do need some groceries for the week. I think 
I'm gonna do chicken salad, grilled chicken salad. So I need some salad mix and some dressing, or I can make some dressing. I might need some eggs. I definitely need cream. I need coffee. Yeah, definitely need all that. I have one more bite of cucumber on my way out the door. I know my hair's a little weird. It was done last night, but I don't want to do it this early this morning because I need to, um, I'll shower later after I do all the cleaning and baking I need to do around here. Because on top of all my regular stuff, I need to get ready for my cousins to come tomorrow so I can move out the furniture. Oh, so I need saran wrap or drop cloths. I think drop cloths, like the plastic ones, and then tape. I think that'll work to get my furniture. I have to wrap it in cellophane when I put it outside. I don't know, but let's go. We got things to do. Gotta get busy. All right, guys, we are gonna make some frosting. So here's what I do. I have three sticks of butter at room temperature and you really, really, really want this at room temperature. I mean, like I let it sit out for a day and a half on my counter because it determines the consistency of your frosting. So if it's a little cold, it's gonna be stiffer. And then when you frost something, the butter gets softer and then your frosting gets softer and it could slide off. So I leave it out. Then I put in some vanilla and this is real vanilla. And then I do a pinch of salt and then I whip up the butter with the vanilla and just let it whip. So give me a sec. Okay, so I just gave it a quick whip. It's very soft. Again, that's what we want. Oops, sorry. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick two pounds of powdered sugar. I'm gonna work that in there with some cream to, um, and I can't tell you how much cream because it really just depends on your powdered sugar, what moisture is in your butter. This is just a kind of situation. But, and also while I'm at it, I'm gonna put in orange food coloring. So there's no flavor to this, it's just food coloring. Sorry, it's stuck, ah, come on. I need to get the lid off. I can't get the lid off. Guys, help me. Or not. Oh, here, I'm just gonna stab it. I'm off camera. Stabbing. I use scissors. Okay, so this is, um, Wilton's Colorite Gel Food Coloring. I don't use the liquid, I do use the gel. And I just put a couple squeezes of that. We want it to be orange. And I'm drying off my scissors that I just used. You can use whatever food coloring you like. That's just what I have or what I picked up. And then because of the splatter, <laughs> of powdered sugar and I don't have a guard, I do go slow with the addition of the um, powdered sugar. So I just do a little bit at a time. And then if I need more food coloring, I can obviously do that. But this also helps incorporate um, the powdered sugar in with the butter slowly. What I don't want is a big old cloud of powdered sugar. Add a little more cream to it. 
And then I just keep doing this. So I'll bring it back when all the powdered sugar is incorporated. Okay, so I have all the powdered sugar in. It's a good color of orange. I need to add more cream. If you can't see this consistency, it's very dense, which is okay, but I like it a little lighter. So I just add a little more cream and then I'll let it whip it up. And I'll let this go for a few minutes, like five minutes, and then we should be done. Okay, frosting is ready. What I'm gonna do is show you, I'm gonna take this pastry tip. It is a 1M star tip. I need it down in the bottom here. So first I start off by just giving myself a small cut. This is just a plastic pastry bag. I prefer them so I could just throw them away. I have for other uses, the real ones from like bakery supply store, but they're messy. And then you just wanna make sure you're cutting it enough so where the tip can come out, not impede your lines, but it creates a seal. If you don't, you have to use a, a coppler. And again, that's just work. So for me, oops, did I rip that? Oh, I think I cut my bag, did I? No. There we go. Uh, maybe. guess not okay then I stick it into a cup and I like the tops to not be messy stick my clean hand in there to get the air out and then I fill this with our orange frosting get it off my counter so it's nice and fluffy if you like a thicker, you know, you just have to kind of make your own consistency, right? Then, gotta get a towel for my fingers. I stand it up, I kind of get this going down to the bottom. And then I may stick some more up in here. The thing is, I don't want it backing out of my hand. I'd rather have to refill it more than one time than having it messy everywhere. There we go. So I have that. You want to get your air out. I squeeze it over here till some comes out. And sometimes I make it too thick and then I have to start over. Here's the, I'm making 24, so I'll have a smaller amount. And then you twist the top and you can always use more than one bag. But I just make my cupcake orange and brown because that's their school colors. I take my time. Now this tip you can also use to just make a rose if you wanted. I've seen people do like just the rose, but I like them a little more frosting and that's what my people like and then because we want to be a little extra right i have all those i got the whoppers which are molted balls because they're brown and i'm going to stick them right in the top one right on each top and that screams heath orange and brown and he will love these i'm sure i got these containers at the dollar tree the only oddity that i have found is that they only hold sorry i'm grabbing the lid to show you they only hold nine cupcakes which is so random to me like a dozen people we make things in dozens and they're not fantastic to hold things in place but you just are very careful making sure you get them clipped on. And then I never carry by the lid. I carry by the bottom and that's what they're going to look like. And I'll have 24 cupcakes to take to my cousins today. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll show you the finished tray or I can show you fast forward what this next tray will look like. Ooh. I have two more trays to fill. 
and probably I just take the extra frosting with me to their house because they'll eat it. But we'll just keep going. Oh, the other thing is you don't want to make them taller than your container will hold. And you try not to handle these bags overly long because the butter will melt. That's the kind of, I'm not going to say hazard to buttercream because buttercream is delicious. However, I'll have to refill my bag here. Um... You know, it's definitely very temperature specific. You, you don't want to be keeping this in a hot place. I also wouldn't put them outside. I don't want to put them in the refrigerator because they'll sweat. I just, and I make them last minute. So I'm leaving here in two hours. These will be perfectly fine for my two hour window. Then I'm just going to open up this bag. It's going to get messy second time around. But look how much extra frosting I'm going to have. Which, again, my family will love that. So I'm not too concerned. But I do need to fill this up and finish frosting. All right, here they are up close. Tell me those do not look adorable. All right, let's get into something else. Hey friends, I thought instead of showing you what I bought, I'll show you how I prep all the things that I bought at the grocery store today. Still drinking my coffee. And the noise you hear in the background, I'm cleaning my coffee maker. Uh, lettuce is pre-washed. This is just three heads of romaine. This week I decided that I'm having for dinners or lunches or whatever, Caesar salad. Um, I'll show you the meat in a second, but I just chop it up. I put it in a Tupperware with a wet paper towel at the bottom. Keeps it fresh. It'll stay for at least a week, maybe longer. And I may not be able to eat all of this lettuce, but I don't feel like I'm wasting it either. So there's that one more. And then what I did a few months back. I, it's okay, Alex. A few months back, I bought at Costco, it comes in a two pack of already um, grilled chicken pieces, like chicken strips, chicken chunks. They were pretty big, so I cut them down to make them more salad. I think they would have been perfect in a wrap, but I'm tasting or have a taste for Caesar. So, and I have all the other ingredients. So there we go, and then I just kind of mix it up so you get some of the crunchy, some of the green. And then when I'm ready to make salad, I can just pull this out, grab my lettuce. And then in here, that's the grilled chicken that came from Costco. It was two bags, this is one bag of it, and that's plenty for a week's worth of salad for me. I have Caesar dressing in the fridge and I also have Parmesan cheese. So that's perfect. I also got for this week canned chicken. So I will make a video of making the chicken crust pizza for you. Come here, Alex. Um, and then this morning before I decided to record this, I chopped up cucumbers on my mandolin. Oh, hold on. Need to wash it. Be careful with this one. It does not come with a um, guard. So I have cut up cucumbers in my fridge. Now we're gonna cut up meat and cheese. And I love these glass containers. Um, I do get questions where I purchase them. I got the, most of these at um, Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Some came from Marshall, some came from TJ Maxx. You know, it's the same store. This is Saint, uh, Aldi brand. I get the beef sausage, or this is the garlic summer because I think they were out of the beef. The beef has zero carbs. The garlic has one carb. I'm okay with that because um, it's got some flavor to it. And then take the thing off. And I just find that if I have everything in my refrigerator ready to go, I'm more inclined to eat it 
and not make poor choices. Plus, you know, I'm busy, it's easy on the go. And I just buy up what I know I can have and put it in my fridge. So I will have these all cut up. I've got my little glass storage container back here and it will hold probably all of it, maybe not. If it doesn't, I'll get a zip bag out and just, you know, store it up. But this is ideal lunch for me. When I get hungry in the morning, I just come down and grab some salami and cheese and that is a good meal nice and low carb and it's summertime so it's warm and I don't really want to do all the cooking which I mean I will but I prefer just to have um, you know things already prepared and ready to go in the little container because it just makes life so much easier you know what I mean especially if you have like kids in the house or whatever Instead of watching things go bad because you just didn't want to open it up or fuss with it, I just do it. Alrighty. And I haven't had lunch today, so I may just leave some of the sausage out and have it for my lunch today. There we go. Get that in here. And then I will have this piece for lunch. Okay, now we're going to wipe down this knife. And this. Get the meat off of there. And we're going to do cheese. And I just do for myself, so this is what I like. Extra sharp cheddar, pepper jack, and I got all this at Aldi when I went, well, the cheese I had and the meat, um, I had bought it up a couple weeks ago and it was time to use it. Sometimes I just buy ahead and Swiss. And then, fun fact, no idea why the other two bricks are longer, but they are. And then I just, oops, cut it and toss it in the container. I'm not fussy that my cheese touches each other. This will last a week, maybe going into next weekend, which is a holiday weekend. And my pool's gonna be open. So this, I love to keep on hand to pack a little snack when I go up to the pool for the afternoon, bring a book, just sit out there and read. If I find the time to do that, watch your fingers when you're cutting cheese. You can also just buy it pre-cubed. And I, I'm not gonna lie, I do that sometimes. There we go. Oops, I missed one. I do have my fingers protected. But I try not to make these too big. But you know, you know how it is. I'll probably have to bag up some of this cheese because I don't know that it will all fit up in here. And that's okay. It's, but it's already handled, you know? So at this point, I already have breakfasts. I don't typically eat a lot of breakfast, so, but I'm gonna make some hard boiled eggs later just to have in the fridge. And I might even pickle them if I'm feeling crazy. Maybe that'll fit in there and the rest of this will just go in a bag. Sometimes I buy the pre-sliced cheese. It, I'm not fussy, you know, I just need cheese. But I do love this combination of the three and it works for me. All right, so let me get this stuff put away and see what else I need to prep. All right, I did not have anything else I needed to prep today. So here's everything. Um, I got this organic Caesar dressing at Aldi. I really like it. 
has zero carbs. Now I will say I saw one today and they're marked down. So I'm wondering if they're getting rid of it. So I grabbed another bottle. Um, I did get two cans of chicken breast. This is the, um, how many ounces? 12.5 ounce cans. You need one of these to make a full pizza. Um, I already had this Parmesan cheese, which would be perfect on my Caesar salad. I got a huge bag of this at Costco and I need to go get some more. I love it. So here's my lettuce, my cheese and meat, cucumbers, extra cheese, and my chicken. And then I have other things. I did buy the ingredients to make a crab rangoon dip, but this is going to be enough for the rest of, you know, for this week. I'll probably make that next weekend for the holiday weekend. But that's it. That's everything I've prepped. I'll put it in my fridge and now I have go-to meals for the rest of the week. Guys, it's happening. Look at that nasty couch. I'm so happy to be rid of it. The, my brother's dog tore up my couch and I needed to replace it and it's happening. So the chair, look at my living room. I don't even care. Ah, Dubby. Hey, no, sir. We don't get in the furniture. Ooh. So yeah, I'm getting ready. There's Debbie. They're all conf confuzzled with what I'm doing. But so my cousins are on their way. The furniture is going out the door and this is Sunday. So my new stuff will not be here until Friday and I'm only getting half of it. Hi, sir. What do you need? Debbie, what you want? Oh, you hear your treats. There you go. Yeah. All right, this is the before. I will show you the after. There it is. The couch and the chair. Done. <clears throat> and then in here, I have stuff piled everywhere. Dinner. I feel like a high school kid or a college kid moving into my first apartment. But that's my furniture for the week until my couch or chair and love seat come. And that's Dubby. And then over here, I have everything pushed to the side because I'm going to shampoo the carpet. There's Alex. Bunny. Hi, Alex. Yeah, so I'm going to shampoo. So I'm going to put as much of this stuff away, like blankets and all of that. And then I'm going to shampoo the rug. And you want a treat, baby? Yeah. And that's it. Dining room looks better, but I have stuff piled literally everywhere. But I can't wait to show you the after. All right, everybody, have a good one.